In this video, we're going to quickly, well, I'm going to quickly go over just how to write files, essentially, um, and also how to append things to files that have already been written. So we're going to create a new file and we're going to store it in a variable. So we're going to say, mm, we're going to call it friend file, let's say. Okay, and we're going to say it's equal to open, and we're going to say it's equal to friends dot text and the second argument will be a w now i'll just quickly explain what all this means so here we're going to open a file if it exists called friends.txt and we're going to write to it slash overwrite it uh, if it does exist with this w command if it doesn't exist we won't be overwriting it We'll just be writing it, you know, we'll just be making it, creating it essentially. But if it does exist, this W will overwrite it. This first parameter is the name of the file that you want to open, whether it exists or not. And the second parameter is what you want to do with it. There are three letters you can use here in the second param argument of the parameter. You can use W, which means write. You can use A, which means append. And you can use R, which means read. In this video, we're just going to use W and A. Okay, so this will open this non-existent text and will write to it slash overwrite, as explained. I'll show you that now. So we are going to use a command, well, a function called write uh, on this text called friends text. And we're going to write to it my first friend is Samir, for example. And then we have to close the file. Note that I only want to write that into the file at this moment in time. If we wanted to write more, we'd copy and paste this and add more writes. Now, whenever after you've write, written to or done an operation on a file that you've opened here, and that's it, you're finished with the file, uh, what you want to do is close the file, because if you don't close the file, the changes won't be made, and it'll stay open, running uh, forever, I think. Anyway, you've got to close the file after you've done your operations on it. So we'll do this, and we'll see here, I don't have this file. This file doesn't exist, this friends.txt, and this is the uh, folder that I'm going to be doing it in here. So if I run this, it should exist, and it should have this text in its first line and its only line in fact okay so here we are friends.txt my first friend is Samir so I'm satisfied that this has worked yeah I'm gonna copy and paste this now and I'm going to prove to you that this file that exists will be overwritten so just remember that it said or it says my first friend is Samir I'm going to change the text here to my first friend is, I don't know, Rupert. So my first friend is Rupert. And it should say here, my first friend is Rupert. So what you can see is the only friends.txt file that exists, and there is only one, it hasn't created a second one, has now been replaced. That first line is no longer what it was here because this has been overwritten. This file has been overwritten by the write command. So this w command will overwrite existing files. Do keep that in mind. Now, let's say we want multiple files, okay? Friend file, we'll put that again. In fact, we'll just copy and paste, okay? Very lazy today, aren't I? Copying and pasting, but it saves you guys time and it allows me to explain things quicker. So, we can copy and paste this here and we can write several lines now each time you start a line uh, you actually have to do something add something to it in order for it to be the second line so we'll say my second friend is Samir and let's see what happens here let's try and see if you can guess what's going to happen right Guessing games are over. Let's see what's happened. So this isn't two separate lines. For some reason, it's printed it all on the same line. What's happened here is the 
these these right uh, clauses, all they've actually done is appended one thing to another. They haven't started a new line, and you need a special character to do that. So I'll do that now. I'll copy and paste this, and we'll write the line uh, here. And we actually put a backslash and an N, and this backslash N character here is known as a new line character. And if you put this before whatever line uh, you want to be on the next line or you want the next line to be, it will create a new line. Okay, You'll see what I mean when we overwrite again. And now it's on two different lines. Let's say you want to, I don't know, write a hundred lines. Or let's say you just want to write five lines and you don't want to keep copying and pasting this right and changing it all the time and looking up and down through hundreds and thousands of lines of code. Is there a way to write many lines at once without having to use write over and over again? Yes, there is. And I'll show you how to do that now. So just copy and paste this. Once again, just that part. I'll make an extra space here. Oh, actually, I can make the variable below. So I'm going to make a variable and I'm going to call it friends underscore lines. And that's going to be equal to all the lines that I want. So I'll say my first friend is Rupert. Um, Second friend is Samir. Doesn't really matter actually if it's capitals. It's just Sama, no Samir. Very sure of that. Um, slash and again, my third friend is Samantha. Doesn't matter that her name isn't in capitals. It should be, but. This is just really about the code and not criticism of my uh, terrible typing. Okay, so we've made a variable called lines which has these three lines. Okay, we can then use with the friend file that variable, we can use a write lines function, and all we've got to put in is this variable. It only takes one argument, so don't try and use this. And put all your lines as different strings here, it won't work. It has to all be in one variable. Okay, it, I'm, I'm pretty sure it iterates through this variable. Ah, it's friends lines, not friend lines. That's worked now. And then friend file dot close. Okay, a lot to look at here. It's probably hurting your head a little bit, but this this is what's important, okay? And if I use that, friends.text should be the way I want it to be. And it is. My friend is my second is Samir. My third friend is Samantha. It's all good. It's all there, just as I asked it to be. And we've overwritten the last one with this. Okay. So a few things to take away from the basic right. When using W as the parameter uh, in an open argument, you will overwrite this file if it already exists once you start writing to it and doing things with it okay next thing is um, you need to use this backslash n uh, character in order to declare any way you want to put a new line and this here by putting all of your lines in one uh, variable and using the right lines um, function with the variable as the argument you can write all your lines uh, with just one line of code rather than using the write statement over and over again. This will be very useful if you are importing this data from somewhere else and it's all comma separated because you can probably put that into a variable somehow and then put that variable straight in here instead of having to type everything out. Could be a thousand times that you might have to type something out so it does save you a lot of time. Right then, the next thing to get into is the append. So I said we'd get onto append. So we'll use the friend file and we'll say friend file is equal to open 
friends.text. Instead of using W, we're going to use A here. That's the argument. Okay, A is the argument. And then we're simply going to just write something in here. Doesn't really matter what it is. We'll say my third friend is I don't know a niche maybe niche could be my third friend and then friend file dot close and uh, let's try it eh? so you can see this hasn't all been overwritten whoops I put that he's my third friend he's actually my fourth but that's just irrelevant. The point is that this hasn't been overwritten, but this has been appended and added. And that's, as I say, because I use the A parameter as an argument. All right. I'll try that one more time. I'll actually uh, get rid of that because I know that it's a small grammatical error, but it really is annoying me. And we'll try this once more. So I'll copy and paste this. Try it once more. So friend file open with the argument the parameter is a here and that's append okay to the same file that we've already been using a million times and we'll say my fifth friend is uh, Tin Long he's uh, Chinese Chungoren and we'll just overwrite this here uh, sorry append this we're not overwriting anything we're appending it nearly forgot that and you see i've got my fourth friend is a niche um my fifth friend is chen long the reason why a niche is there twice is because i executed that when it said my fifth friend is a niche and then i executed it again when it says my fourth friend is a niche but this because it's not an overwrite it just added a niche the second time as well so yeah, there's a little peculiarity for you, a little mess up that I did. So yeah, that's pretty much it. There's your basic appends and your writes. Um, I won't do a practice video on this because I more or less think that you've understood it. Um, one thing I will say is that I've used text files for simplicity, um, but dealing with CSVs, .jsons and other file types, for those of you who are aware of these kind of file types, will be a lot more difficult. Same with HTTP or the uh, HTML, should I say, XML or whatever. You know, you can't actually write everything in the same way. So just, just bear that in mind when you're writing uh, files. Anyway, hope you enjoyed.